Natalie, thanks for joining us. Um, is this your first time in Australia and uh, how are you finding it? Um, this is my first time in Australia and um, you know I think I've loved it from the first time I got here. It was beautiful weather when I first got here. The people are really friendly and um, it's just a really great environment. Well, let's talk about uh, Dandenong and the Rangers. Tell us a little bit about your journey. How did you end up uh, here with Mark Wright and the girls? Um, you know I uh, had a poor experience in Europe last year and um, I was just looking for something different and um, my agent came up with Australia and as soon as I heard that I was, I was sold to be honest. The Rangers and the WNBL in general, uh, the standard of competition, has it been a surprise to you or is it pretty much what you expected? Um, no, it's definitely pretty much what I expected. You know, um, based on some of the players that I knew had played here before and had signed this year, I knew it was going to be elite uh, competition. So I was pretty excited to come in here and play with them and then um, to compete for a championship. I knew that they wanted their contenders every year and so I wanted to come in here and help contribute. And is that a goal that uh, you guys have talked about, uh, you know, finishing top two, going all the way? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think we're, we're um, right on track to getting there. We're not even close to where we need to be yet, but uh, we're really excited and that's definitely where we want to be. This is Pedersen to Novacell, the other American who has a very sweet perimeter shot. Laurie Chizik, Darren Boyd, and we're in commentary, joined as well by Narelle Fletcher. Course side, and Novacell dives onto that loose ball. That is as tough as you see. Now, you mentioned you've played in Europe. You are also drafted into the WNBA. Uh, what does it take to make it at this level, uh, you know, at the elite level? Um, I think you can never be content, never be satisfied. You always have to keep working, continue to work on your game. Um, you know, that's, that's really the only way to make it as, as a professional, um, is to continue to keep working on your game and stay at that level and continue to, to, to get better. And is that the, what advice would you have for a, a youngster that's uh, wanting to play one day in the big leagues? Um, you know, I would say find something that you love and as cliche as it sounds, um, as it is, hard work really does pay off and just go, um, go at it with a passion and um, see that goal in your mind and never, never let, let, it, let it go out of your mind and you can do it.